Okay, this is almost an hour since I began this video. I had people come over. If I would have told them I need to go back and do the video, they'd say I'm not good company. If they ask me to go out and I don't go, they tell me I never joined them anywhere. If I make a decision to stay home for a personal reason, and I've stayed home 9 out of 10 times, and sometimes I go out 3 out of 3, the long average is not so bad. But I feel like I'm demised by it. Until you do roulette, if you don't do the math, there is no winning formula if you don't do the math, right? We're going to show you part of the math in section one and then part of the math in section two, which is going to be called red, black, 1 to 18, 19 to 36, or first, second, and third, first, second, and third, 12s. Okay, I'm going to show you all these mathematical understandings. So let's continue on with this video. What this means is if I bet one chip on nine numbers, right? One chip on nine numbers, if I lose, I lose nine chips, my possibility to win is 35 chips. It would give me a 26 chip profit. Take away nine plus one. Nine plus, take away the nine from 35 equals to 26. And the one chip that was on the number gets to stay. I make 27 chips. I lose, I lose, I lose by blue. By the time I lose my third one, my chance was to win 35 if I won it. I lost them out 27. I would have been a winner of eight chips plus the one equaling to a total of nine chips left in my pocket. <clears throat> After four losses, after five losses, okay, on the sixth hand, you'll be betting three chips. The total over here by nine numbers, nine by 327. The total losses, if you lose, you lose 90 chips. If you win this hand, you're at 105. You are now up 15 plus three equals to this. If you Win one, lose one, win one, lose one, win one, lose one, win one, lose one. I will show you that scenario in the win one, lose one. Okay, anyways, let me just continue on. By the time you get to one, one two, three, four, five, and after five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you'll play a total of ten games. In the 10th game, okay, in the 7th game, we come up with 63 and 81. Vibration, gateway, Mayan time, birth, creation of 9-11, love comes at 22. The red sun, the heaven of birth. Ace, B, C, D, that is your vibration. 315 says ace, 090 becomes your birth in the heaven. That's all you have is you have the red sun, the beta gateway, the beta gateway. Anyways, uh, to get on to the end, when you come here. Now, if you should happen to go to your 11th area, and that would be 99 towards your bet, 414, your DNA, okay, your win, okay, as you get to number 11, you will have to bet 10 chips, right? No, 11 chips. 11, 11, okay? Your total amount bet is 99. Your total losses at this point would be 414. And your number over here would bring you over the top, would bring you to... 300 and um, 300 and uh, what is it? let me get the calculator 11 times 35 it would bring you to 385 right you would be at a loss okay 
of 14 and 29 chips would be your loss. Even if you win plus 11 equals 2. Whoop, 21 would be your loss minus 11, okay, would equal to, oh no, it would be your loss. I'm just, just give me a second. 29 would be your loss, but should you have a win, right, you will get 11 original chips back. You'll be out 18 chips. If you go to the 12th one, right, and you must go to the 12, okay, 12 chips. This is your 12th area. This is 12 chip. Excuse me. Nine. Um, yes, 12, 12. See here, it's nine, ten, seven, nine. But your 12th time making a bet. And that your 12 chips is where it's going to make you even. Right? Your 12 chips times nine is 108. Okay? Your total loss would be 522. Um, no, we're going to switch, we're going to switch this number over here. Why? Because we can't play this one. We can't play this one over here. We can't play it because we can't make that bet. It turns into a loss. We must go the 11th area, right, is 12 chips. The 11th area is 12 chips, 12 by 9, 108. Our loss would be... Um, 315, 423, 108, 400, oh, sorry, 108, 422, 422, 108, uh, sorry, did I get that right? No, 108, 423 is the right number. The reverse vibration, 234, 315, 423. Your profit zero is what splits everything. It'd be 11, zero, and let's see what the profit is. 423, uh, you would be betting 12. 12 times 35 equals to 420. Wow, 420. We still have a loss, right? But not actually, because we get to keep 12 chips, leaving us with a profit of nine chips. So do you understand that whole formation of what happens? You must have at least $400 in your pocket to come to the conclusion that you've arrived here after 12 rolls, which takes about three minutes a roll. And if you're at the table alone, it can be up to a minute a roll after the payout if you're playing alone. But it's usually, it'll take three minutes or 20 an hour. At this scenario, you will win twice. And the two times that you will win, right, you win a total of $18, you'll be making $18 an hour. And that's if your number comes up one time out of every 12, betting nine. Now, if it goes any further than that, there's a different story. There's another betting strategy to be added onto this. That's if your numbers are coming up every second or third one, then your increments will change here. If you're hitting two out of every six, right? You're not going to bet the same way as this. You'll go one, one, two, two, four, four, eight, eight, because you're hitting if she's in your order. And the minute she goes out of your order once or twice, that's when you stop. The same thing I just wanted to show you is that to end this video is that every second number will add up to 37. 28 and 9 is 37. 9 and 30 is 39, 30 and 7, 37, 7 and 32 is 39, uh, 32 and 5 is 37, and then 25 and 11, 37, 11, uh, 11 and 20, it doesn't work out for the first time, right? Oh, I just noticed that. This one and this one, right? 20 and 17, 37, 17 and 22, 39. It's only this one doesn't work out. This is a cutting number. Never noticed. It must happen again down here because it's all 19, 18, 37, 19, and 12. What I like about the singles, this is the double zero. This is your binary Fibonacci. Uh, what I like about this one is when you count between here and here, okay, the total here will be 75. 
When you count between here, here, and here, the total is 57, 57, 75, or 77 times 75. This is known as the orphelin area space. This is known as the orphan area of space. 57, 75 denoted on the roulette wheel, and 5775 is the Hebrew year of, uh, if I remember, of 2015, right? 2015. Four by five, three by five, representing the DC World Gateway. Raphael 7286 and a constellation of Pegasus. Thank you for watching this video.